Hello everybody and welcome to my 71st VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is finally going to go into active data objects and using SQL to connect to databases. So I've created a simple database. This will be in, uh, there'll be a link to the sample database in the description. So if you want to use the sample database then feel free to. Uh, it's quite a simple one. It's in uh, Access 2013. Uh, I think it will work in 2007, 2010. Um, but it's, it's basically, it's just a table, has users, and it's just got one record in it that has my user ID on my computer uh, and my username. A very simple table. Uh, and we're just going to use it as a quick example of uh, how you can use, uh, not a quick example, it's going to be a few tutorials uh, and quite in depth, but um, it's quite a simple database to use for the examples. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is in our VBA, we're going to want to establish a connection to this database. Uh, and this is going to be the whole of this tutorial because it's quite complicated to establish a connection. Uh, but bear with me. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, following on from the previous tutorial, I'm going to use option explicit because uh, we want to make sure our code is in check and all other variables are declared because we're going to use a global variable. Um, the global variable I'm going to use is going to put dim dbcont as object and we're declaring it as an object variable and that just means that later on we can put any type of object that we want to into this uh, global variable or global object as it now is uh, and this is because the active data objects is an external reference library uh, and so uh, without adding in some references we can't reference it directly so to start off with, we'll just declare it as an object uh, globally, so everywhere can use it. And then when we set it, we're going to set it with the, the object type then, um, which is what we're going to do next. So let's go to public function. And uh, I'm going to call this one connect database. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is I've created a module called DB connection underscore module and all of my connection functions uh, and the connection functions are going to go in here along with my global object and then you just leave this module as it is and work in your other ones. Uh, so I'll also export this module uh, and save it in my sample code and then when you come to use it just go uh, import file select the file that you've downloaded with this module and you can just import this module so you're not going to have to type it out if you don't want to. Um, so we're then going to set our object dbcon or database connection uh, equals and then you want to create object and then ad odb dot connection. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to create an object that we can use to connect to our database. The reason we use create object rather than just set it as it is because this is not part of the general VBA library. It's actually, if you go into tools and references, it's in uh, I can it's in it's in one of these libraries, 2.8 I think, uh, ActiveX Data Objects Library. So you can tick it and then use it in there, but what you'll find is if you give this to other people, they won't have that library ticked uh, and then their code won't run. Whereas if you do it this way using create objects, you don't need to tick that library and if you give it to someone else, uh, it's not going to mess up their, their system. Uh, and trust me, you can try and set everyone up with ticking their references, but it takes a long time and then someone comes along and resets all of their, their excels and then you have to do it all again. So you just use it, use this way. Uh, trust me, uh, I've lived through the painful experience. Uh, and right, the next thing we want to do is create a database path. So dim string database path uh, string, and this is just going to hold the um, 
whatever the location of your database is. So mine is in C drive, uh, users, Matthew, slash desktop, slash sample database dot ACC DB all in speech box. So it's just a string and it just holds the URL of uh, our database on our drive. So we then want to create another string and I'm going to call this one uh, scon, so string connection as uh, string. And then I'm going to copy and paste this uh, because it's a bit of typing. And so provider equals Microsoft.ace.oledb uh, 12.0. Uh, and this one works for, I think, 2007 onwards. Uh, if you want to do 2003, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. Um, so then we just want to. Now we've done it, we just want to open up our connection. So dbcon dot open, and then we pass it that connection string. And so that will open up our connection to the database. Well, what we want to do before I even consider running this, I'm just going to put dbcon dot close. In fact, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to set up a new function down here. So public function and close database. Uh, and I just want to put dbcon dot close and set dbcon equals nothing. Uh, and what I also want to do is I'm just going to put in on error resume next and what this means is because we can call this whenever we want to the closed database uh, and regardless of whether or not the database is open because of the on error resume next it's going to close it down um, sometimes if you haven't got it open and you try to close the database it will error off your code and sometimes you just want to be able to call it just in case uh, so I always put on error resume next in there uh, and then at the end, just put on error go to zero, just to get rid of your error handler at the end when it goes back to something else. So we want to put in here, cool, close database. Because I, I don't want to leave this connection open. So I'm going to step into this code using F8 just to show you it running. So we're going to create our object. It's going to set this database path. It's going to create a string that uh, sets our, um, our pro provider, our, our data source, which is this database path. And then a couple of other things don't really matter that much. And then we go onto this one and press F8 and that opens up our connection to the database. Uh, and then finally we just close off our connection and it will go through set them to nothing and done uh, and so now we all we've done at the moment is established a connection to our database and then close down the connection to our database now i just want to do a little bit of error handling in here um because i don't want it to only be able to do 2007, 2013. So what I'm going to do is just here, I want to go on error, go to 2013. Uh, and then down here, I want to do uh, 2013. And above it, just put exit function. And I'm going to have another error down here called error. Error. Uh, and then I'm going to use the provider that you have for 2013. 
So Escon equals provider Microsoft LLD. So they're very similar. It's just this one uses the Jet Engine and that one uses the ACE Engine. Uh, and then we just want to try and open it up again. Uh, but before we open it up, I just want to put a new error handler. So on error, go to error. And then exit function above here. And so it's going to open it up in one of two ways. Uh, and if it can't open it up for, oh, and that needs to be 2003. 2003. So if it can't open it with this connection string, it's going to skip to the 2003 one. And it's going to open it with that connection string. So if you're using Access 2003, then that one should work for you. Uh, otherwise, then this one up here should work for you. If you're connecting to a non-access database, then just put into Google the connection string for whatever you're using, uh, be it another Excel sheet or a different type of database, whatever. Um, and you'll be able to find the provider and just take this provider section uh, and change it for what you need to. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, and like I said, this will be in the sample code download and you can copy this all in. You don't have to type this all out yourselves. Um, one last thing I forgot to put on. So just make sure you put dbcon.cursor location equals three after each of your connections. Uh, what this does is just makes the connection on to the client side rather than the server side, which is what we want. So let's just test that and it's all working fine. So we're connecting and we're we're all good to go. So that's it for this tutorial. That's how you create a connection to a database. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use these functions to connect to our database and then actually retrieve a record from it. So thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.